Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where I'm from, man, they love to hate. Where I'm from, they hit the interstate. Where I'm from, man, they keep a trip. Murder rate, how the feel is kill. Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Hey man, say man, what's the play, man? Hey man, say man, y'all know what it is, she know what it is, we know what it is, man. It's your boy Javon, I'm here with Dallas Retro Fit, man. Yeah, you know, man. Get to it, man. Man, you got us doing, you got us doing it different, you know what I'm saying? Got us out here in the parking lot with the cars, you know what I'm saying? Money around. I see the MCM boot bag on your back, you know what I'm saying? Just put a pack on my back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? bro, you know. Well, shit, we just out here, my boy put up on me. Shit, we we at the Dallas Star with it. Yeah, man. Um, I I feel like before we really get into it, congratulations are in order. You know what I'm saying? You just hit them high social media numbers. Go ahead and tell me about that a little bit. So I just dropped a video called No Problems. Yeah. Go get that. Uh, I just hit 12K in a week. Yeah, man. So this is my first time ever hitting 12K ever or yeah. above 10K. So, you know, it's, it's a big accomplishment for me and you know my saying? team. You know what I'm saying? I want to go ahead and salute you. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of clout chasing going around and people do like, we'll do whatever for them numbers, but you kind of did that effortlessly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So so, I mean, people people like to reach, you know. But, yeah. I mean, I ain't going to speak on that too much, you know. But it's all natural, man. I just, you know, believe in what I do. Stay humble. Stay down. Stay down to earth. You yeah. Know, keep good people around. Keep good energy around, man. It's only up from here, man. So, go ahead and tell us about this, man. Where you, where you from, bro? Uh, So, basically, we're at Dallas Star, which is in Frisco. I live in this area. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people in this area. There's actually some good artists around here. Yeah. Uh, You know, we got a lot of this, good artists. Would you say that Frisco has, like, a, a music scene? So stuff, Frisco like actually does have a, yeah. So Frisco actually does have a good music scene. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you live here, you you know a lot of you know good artists. Yeah. And good artists, uh, you know, even Dallas may know some Frisco people or Frisco yeah. artists or stuff like that. How hard do you think maybe it might be for like artists out of Frisco to kind of get Dallas recognition or like recognition out the whole DFW? Honestly, it's not hard to get recognition anywhere. You just got to be in their face consistently. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to network. You got to be at the right places at the right time talk to the right people and yeah. just basically go from there man talk that talk man so 2020 has been one of those years that none of us will ever forget right yeah um how have you been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic 19 20 2019 right. so what honestly the pandemic has helped me out because I have more time to you know get music done yeah get photo shoots done get videos done yeah uh, it just gave me a lot of time to brainstorm and plot on what I'm gonna do next year and the yeah. plans I got next year so uh you know next year I got an album coming out Danny Phantom that should be coming out around you know March okay. May April how'd you come up with the name uh basically I went ghost for a minute uh so Danny Phantom I always looked up to him as a kid you know what I'm saying but yeah. Danny Phantom lodged in ho if y'all don't know Danny Phantom y'all gotta go tap in yeah but shout out basically that's like my alter ego you know what I'm saying uh I did go ghost on the scene you know I was you know trying to do my thing for a minute yeah. but I went ghost for like two years and I popped back up yeah kind of like Danny Phantom he went ghost so and what what made you come out of the um the the the, the, the departure for a minute or you know what I'm basically saying? Yeah, uh, I hate this. just having good creative people around me yeah and just realize and like a lot of people telling me you know you got this shit so i mean just listening to people believing on myself you know i just step back on the scene so earlier we were talking about um the covid you know what i'm saying right um did you get the stimmy from this year the like stimulus? The stimulus yeah bro i didn't get a single stimulus man well, so. well hold up bro you tripping what happened man? i didn't get a single stimulus cool. i guess i didn't file or something man like, i didn't get a dime cool. we got government. we got another stimmy coming along you know what i'm saying hey, we hey. got another stimmy i don't know if it's gonna come do you think you think it'll come yeah i think it's gonna come um you know i mean yeah, I think it's gonna come. I think <laughs> the I think the gonna come. Man, I was um I was watching the news yesterday and I heard they said um there may be a new strand of the COVID. Right. Um, yeah. So but I also hear that and I'm not trying to pass false information, but I've been hearing that maybe like the the um the vaccine has been turning people into crocodiles right. and giving facial paralysis and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if the law if the law man was to come and walk up to the door let me see your COVID papers. You know what I'm saying? Let me, have you taken a shot? You right. going to jail or what? 
I'm going to jail because I'm be honest with you. I don't believe in the shots, and I believe I, I I'm anti-vaccine. Yeah. So for real, like for like all like vaccines, like all vaccines. All vaccines, pretty much. Uh, I I think that they put stuff in there that's not t- like not good for your body. Yeah. So that's just my intake on it. Would you consider I mean, yourself a conspiracy theorist? I'm sorry. Would you consider yourself a conspiracy theorist? No. I just I just believe what I believe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just believe that there's stuff in there with no shots. You know that, what I'm saying? It, Man, so like, as the um, as the COVID is opening up and everything is opening up, where are we gonna? What are your fans gonna see from you? Respect for you, especially with the opening of the new year. Um, so, I, like, fans, in addition to the project, right? So, uh, fans should see, you know, listening parties, shows, uh, you know, merchandise. Yeah. Uh, skits, cause I do skits too. I'm about to start the skits back up. I will yeah. pause down on the skits. What made you kind of stop, man? Why are you Why are you slowing down? So, the so no, man? I'm not slowing down at all. I just had to take time off the skits so they could focus on the music, okay. man. So the thing is. The skits might take away from the music, and yeah. I don't want to, you know, think I'm comedian or something. Do you, you know? Do you feel like, um, what do you feel about meme rap, like um, TikTok rap? You know, what TikTok saying? rap. I, like think, I think it's fire for the moment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't think. I mean, obviously, nothing lasts forever, but I think it's, you know. It's hot for now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But five years down the road, where, where will it be? I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good way a good way to get in the industry and kind of, you know, get in the industry. And then, you know, I think you should change it up after that, not just, you know, be TikTok rapper forever, you know what I'm saying? Definitely dig that. But for so now, it's like, definitely. So what's it like with you in the studio, not to cut you off? But what's it like for, with me in the studio? Yeah, it's Oh, well, it's man. energy. Like, last week, I went to the studio just dolo. I, yeah. I use, sometimes I go to the studio dolo. Sometimes I got, you know, people with me yeah but last week i went to the studio dolo and bro was like he asked me you hard i said yeah i'm hard he was, of course what like, studio you go to uh vision three okay it's out in dallas okay shout out to them yeah yeah shout out to vision three man quite the boy the engineer all that shit but uh yeah so he was like you hard and i was like hell yeah I'm, i go hard and he was like what i'm supposed to say i'm soft in the paint or what <laughs> so i'm like yeah i go hard he like all right well I, shit all eyes was on me after that they like all right he told all these boys all right well he said he go hard bro so i showed them drift and purchase they was rocking with it yeah uh, a couple of girls in there was rocking with it they was yeah. like who's this who's this da, da, da. and then when i recorded that was really on that hoe for real yeah so uh i mean shit yeah like i just bring energy to every studio session you know what i'm saying so how do you how do you come up with the, the, the songs that the girls were like you know what i'm saying because i feel like that's that's a healthy part of your fan base you know what I'm right saying? uh basically just think about the times i've been with them i don't, yeah. I don't even like them. <laughs> what we've been through what i've been through what they probably been through what what i mean i have a sister yeah i have a daughter i have a mom you know what i'm saying so i got a lot of you know yeah females around me that you know tell me stories you know all this stuff like that how would you say being a father has influenced your music uh being a father has definitely helped me in life in general not yeah. only just music i mean it just motivates me to you know just be one up on these niggas man yeah i'm, I'm just gonna be honest but i mean having a daughter is just Bro, this is motivation. That's yeah. all. It, that's all it really is. So, um, something I've been asking everybody, because there's been a little bit of debate on it. You know what I'm saying? We have one of our da- um, Dallas greats die. You know what I'm saying? Mo three, RP Mo three. Mo three, RP. But there's been a little bit of question on: Do you consider him a legend or not? Like, first of all, a Dallas legend or a Texas legend? Um, I definitely think that Mo three is a legend because I mean, I feel like. He created a wave. He created a wave. I, w- I will give him that. And I think he's a legend because, I mean, even when he passed away, you know, he, I mean, a lot of people were hurt. You know, I was hurt. Uh, a lot of people were hurt. So, I mean, he's, a, I mean, his number, he did numbers too. Uh, Imagine I mean, being an unsigned artist worth $5 million. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was doing numbers. I mean, you can't, you can't be mad at him. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think he's a legend. You consider so, him like a Texas, a Texas legend too? A Texas legend? Yeah. I don't know about that. Uh, but Dallas, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I don't know about Texas. Dallas, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, where are we going to see you a year from now? A year from now? Bro, courtside views and Valentino shoes, bro. I always yeah. say this shit. So, I'm going to be on the courtside view. Shit. Like Drake or something. I don't know yeah. who the fuck. Like, I'm going to be on the courtside feet on the fucking court. I'm Talk telling you, talk, with, the val- with the Valentino shoes on. Yeah. I, I got 11s on right now, but you're going to catch me with Valentino. You know, little razzle-dazzle, man. Yeah. 
Show them the drip, man. So how you how you how does the uh how you come up with your fashion sense? How does that like kind of influence you? Well, honestly, as a kid, I was always in the fashion. I was always in the drip. I actually have a designer, Ryan Paul. Shout out to Ryan Paul. Shout out to him. Uh, basically, we come up with designs together. In my last video, no problems. You'll yeah. see a fit. You designed uh, those pants? No. So these I actually didn't. I bought them from PCH Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. I actually rock with them heavy. Um, but I do design a lot of my clothes, especially uh -huh. for my videos. Like at least one of my fits is all like designed by me and Ryan Paul. So shout out to Ryan Paul. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Paul also did uh, some, a pair of jeans for my homie who just passed away. A lot of people know him, Uncle Skits. Yeah. And that was in his video as well. So, you know, I've been just been working with him on making okay. my own gear and stuff. Already, man. So if we had somebody come from 1948 or 2008 or fucking 2018, you know what I'm saying? And they, for some reason they landed this year in a time machine, you know what I'm saying? What's the one piece of advice that you'll give them moving forward into 2021? For 2021, I would just say keep moving, man. Just keep moving forward and don't look back. Never look back. Just keep moving forward. Fuck, fuck with the past. Talking about yeah. Just look forward. Just keep moving, no matter what happens. Just keep moving, and you're yeah, gonna yeah, get there. Man. Last question, bro. So, what's your one goal for 2021? For 2021, I want to sell out a show. Yeah. I want to sell out a show. If, if I sell out a show, I'm. Bro, I gotta sell out a show 2021. And I think, I, nothing you can do, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they start letting people come outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you, th you think they're gonna let us come outside? I think they're gonna let us come outside with it eventually. I don't know about 20, if it's 2021, but I mean, at least by the end of 2021, we should be outside yeah, with it. Yeah, definitely. Because I'm outside with it right now, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And shit, COVID is happening, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, man, great interview, man. Let us get the, um, the socials uh, for all the people that are watching, you know what I'm saying? New fans, old right. fans, you know what I'm saying? People fucking with us. So it's at Real Javon, R E A L J O V A U N on every platform. Just look it up, man. Uh, Javon on YouTube. Just look me up. No problems. Just drop. So that's the single you want to look for. I also got Drip and Purchase out on every platform. So you want to look that up too. Yes, sir. Man, great interview, bro. Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, where you from nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where I'm from, man, they love to hate yeah. Where I'm from, they hit the interstate yeah. Where I'm from, man, they keep a trip yeah. Murder rate, I can feel the kill yeah. Where you from, where you from, nigga, where you from? Where you from, yeah. where you from, where you from nigga, where you from? Where you from, yeah.